<laughs> From north to south and every place in between, this place where values, discipline, and personal challenge matter so much. It proves every day, every year, that small is good. Sometimes great, and often amazing. That individuals are individual. And that the promise of a good education is that it will impact the world and the lives of everyone involved in a magnificent way. Welcome to a place called Indiana, where 31 small independent private colleges and universities produce more physics graduates than all the public schools combined. Nearly half of the nurses, more undergrads who go on to medical school, 40% of the engineering grads, a remarkably high percentage of CEOs, both in private and not-for-profit sectors. Astronauts, senators, governors, Pulitzer and Nobel Prize winners, inventors, ambassadors, doctors, artists, and filmmakers, company founders, philanthropists like Eli Lilly, and leaders in every walk of life. 31 small, independent private colleges and universities who quietly prove every day that a small school with highly personalized and tailored education can have an amazing impact upon the world. This is Indiana, and these are the amazing independent colleges and universities that prove every day how small can be big. And the Indiana Academy is where we recognize leaders for their contributions to the cultural, scientific, civic, religious, and educational development of this great state. Leaders like Stephen C. Baring, Reverend Theodore M. Hesburgh, CSC, Martha D. Lamkin, Doug Bakken, Richard Luger, Ernestine M. Racklin, and Edwin C. Marshall, particularly for their support and philanthropy directed to the privately funded, extraordinary network of small independent colleges of Indiana, where 60% of the students graduate in four years, compared to 29% at our larger public institutions. And highly personalized academic experience is the norm, in part because there are only 12 students on average for every one faculty member. It's not that small is better, just different, and a good option for students who might flounder in a large, less personal environment. This is the story of faculty who know each student by name and tailor the academic experience to individuals rather than the whole who make it possible for stories like Percy Julian's, internationally renowned chemist and pioneer in the development of synthetic drugs, Jane Henney, America's first female commissioner of the FDA, and Bill Rasmussen, founder of ESPN. 31 like-minded small independent institutions whose direct statewide economic impact is over three and a half billion dollars a year. Colleges so closely intertwined with their business and not-for-profit communities that volunteerism, a tradition of commitment and cause, and real-world working internships where everyone benefits is the norm. A network of schools whose students receive less than 6% of the state's non-capital higher education funding, while enrolling 
21% of the undergraduate students and producing 35% of all bachelor degrees every year. Higher education so nimble, it can tailor changes in programming and curriculum to match the quickening pace of change in the real world with the academic needs of today's and tomorrow's students. 31 richly diverse institutions consistently ranked among the best in the country, where one college accounts for more students accepted to medical school than any other college in the entire state. Another, more physical therapists than anyone else. Leaders in theology, law, engineering, and a faculty body and philanthropic support system consisting of the state's most influential leaders. In a state where year after year, publications like U.S. News & World Report, Forbes Magazine, and Princeton Review rank the independent colleges and universities as some of the best in the nation. Where innovation and independence, values, discipline, and personal challenge matter so much, and individuals are individual. In a beautiful place called Indiana, where 31 small, independent private colleges and universities and the Indiana Academy that supports them all prove every day that small can be big in such magnificent ways. <laughs>